just to give you a bit more perspective, as you can see, and all you Mooney pilots know this, there isn't a lot of room in here. Uh, so once you're strapped in, you're pretty much <laughs> set to go and have very low mo mobility. So if you drop anything, it tends to slide back on the floor. And the only thing you do is try to reach under and grab it. Usually I end up finding uh, my phone a couple of times uh, in the back seat and I've never been able to reach it in flight. The other question that's come up is where you mount your Stratus receiver on a on a these types of planes. Uh, again, there's not a lot of room. A lot of people will put them on a suction cup mount into the back here and attach it to the window and they get a fairly good view and you typically can get two to three uh, ADS stations uh, on a flight over the Northern California Siskiyous as an example between the Bay Area and say Portland, Oregon. Uh, but because there's also in Astratus the AHAR system for uh, backup gyros and accelerometers, you pick up vibration from this plastic. So what I've done is under the passenger side, mount uh, the Stratus receiver using its factory mount. Um, it's wired into a mid-continent USB dual uh, socket um, charger, uh, 2.1 amps per, so I can charge an iPad out of there, and this will power the Stratus off the ship's power and charge its internal lithium battery, um, which is, I think, good for about four, for six to eight hours or so. Um, it comes on normally when the power is added to the ship, but if the power fails, it, the internal battery picks up. However, because it's designed to auto power off, it'll shut itself off, so you need to be able to reach the um, on off switch to turn it back on so you can't put it totally out of there out of place. What also I've done is using this very cheesy connector that Stratus or Perio did for reasons I don't understand. Uh, I've converted that to a BNC and wired it into an old DME antenna which was removed a good 10 years ago when I installed the GPS in the plane. That gives it a lot better range that same flight uh, going over, say, the southern Oregon Siskiyous, northern California, I'll get five, six stations instead of two to three, uh, and it gets a good stable mount for the AHARs, uh, gyros, and accelerometers. Um, this is shielded, uh, unfortunately, by the cowling above, so there is a GPS extension antenna which just simply runs up uh, underneath the instrument panel and is right underneath uh, this fiberglass uh, cowling here so that gets a that gets it a pretty good view of the sky uh, this is another example of some kit a few of us have been working on for uh, with 3d printed cases uh, in this case it's for the stratix um, adsb receiver gps and um, ahars system basically emulating the stratus commercial offering but at a significantly cheaper price it uses a Raspberry Pi single board computer, one or two uh, USB SDR software defined radio uh, little components, uh, a bit of software, and then an optional built in GPS, accelerometers, GPS mount. You can put this whole thing together for about $120. Uh, it's also somewhat better in that you that on the side, here are the connectors, two SMA connectors, uh, screw-on connectors you can use to connect to the antennas rather than the silly push-on thing the Aperio commercial version uses. Connector uh, opening for the USB power for the entire thing and nice louvered case for passive cooling, although it does still tend to run a little hot. Uh, there's some thermal management going on. But this case was also printed in PET-G. Um, it's very nice and strong as you can see here uh, basically snaps together it's got that much precision in its mounting using these little bumps to hold the case together I'm really amazed that that worked as well as it did uh, something you can just print up at home and use and there's um, thing over several versions of these cases uh, that people are developing with um, it's still somewhat of a tinkerer's thing but uh, for pay hey, 120 bucks you can have the equivalent of an $800 commercial offering that may not quite be there yet, but it's pretty close.